Okay, well, what should we do next? I feel like we went to a whole bunch of places. Back over here, we got some items, but I'm not sure what to do with them yet. For example, the valve handle and the red book. And then also back in the library, we had that jack that I think we need some kind of lever for, but I'm not sure if we have that or where to find that yet. There's also the herb back here. Oh, hold on. This room right here. Waiting room, art room. Is that open? I don't think I ever tried going to that side, right? Because last time... Oh yeah, we got distracted by the um, helicopter, so I went here, but I never looked over here. Other than that, we also have the shower room. Oh! Valve! The valve handle! I guess we know what we're doing next then. Let's go to the art room first though, since we haven't been there before. Uh, I'll pick it up later on, once we come back here. I feel like I'm always a little bit scared to find who's here. Now, after looking around and understanding a little bit more on how these zombies behave... Okay, I know there's one in here, somewhere. Not sure where that one is right now, but I'm not gonna question it. After interacting with them a little bit more, I get the sense that they're really localized. Like, you know how earlier, we were in this... Is that just coming from the outside? I guess so. Earlier, we were here, and there's a gigantic gaping hole, but no zombies are coming out of it. In fact, the guy that was following us actively turned around. So I get the sense that... Yeah, maybe I don't have to worry too much. If an area is safe, then they're not gonna come here. Marvin is still not looking too hot. Do I want to pick up the herb while I'm here? Sometimes I feel like leaving it here might be a good thing because... Okay, let's say we run into a boss situation where we really need an herb. I'm not gonna have time to run back to the box to get an herb, right? I don't know, maybe it's good that I leave some lying around here. Oh yeah, I can turn this side. And there's a very suspicious... <laughs> Leon's breathing scared me. Boards. Okay. Because of the whole localized zombie thing, I feel like just thinking about what I did last time in the East office, this might not have been the best thing. I don't regret it because at the time, there was a zombie banging on it. But I'm just thinking about how this whole area is pretty much clear now. What's the chances I'll even come back to that room ever again? If it's a no, then that board might not have been the best place to use it. Hmm. Well, whatever I guess. Not really too big a deal, and certainly nothing we can do anything about. This is missing a crank lever. You people gotta place your items a little bit better. Why are things ending up like halfway across the station? <laughs> hey, don't close it. Well, what do you know? That's the guy in the photo. Art article, the red stone. The ruby that captivated Edward the Black, Edward the Black Prince, the pearl that the Queen of the Nile milked dry, the diamond that led a queen to the guillotine. There is no end to the number of tales related to the appeal of jewels. This mysterious red stone is simply the latest to sparkle among them. Like those other jewels, this one's origin is unknown. It's said that it once adorned a noblewoman's jeweled box and was even dedicated to a wise king. This fall, this stone that's been long shrouded in legend will be on display during auction. There are sure to be many eager enthusiasts there. 
but dear reader, one would do well to approach with care, for devilry lies in beauty's shadow. This jewel has turned caring nobles who love their subjects into despots more terrible than Caligula, and we have the tales to prove it. Seriously, it's precisely because these jewels are bathed in blood that their luster stirs something in the hearts of people everywhere. Is this from a long time ago? It's part of an auction, but this place hasn't been a museum for a long time. Unless if the auction is not being held here. Huh. Weapons locker keycard. Please return all firearms to their original locations after use. Okay. And we can examine that. Yes, weapons locker keycard. Hmm. Nobody bothered taking all these things away when it became a police station. I would have thought these things were super valuable. Yeah, so the scepter, that ruby, that must be what they were talking about in the pamphlet. Would you like a arm? Statue's left arm, just hold it. If I put it back now, it's not gonna have the book. It looks like it's supposed to be holding something. Yep, I'll try it. You can have your arm back for now. Okay, I'll be right back. These doors freak me out every single time. Why do they open like that? Oh my god. I wonder what the world is like outside right now. It's really quiet here. Well, in this specific section, but outside, it must be like chaos. And the situation is only localized to Raccoon City, I imagine. Is the rest of the world coming to help me? The helicopter, but kind of crashed. Why did it crash though? Because the zombies are on the ground, so are you telling me that a zombie got in the helicopter and distracted the pilot? That's not a good sign. Okay, we good. I'm really hopeful about the keycard we just got. Because it said weapons locker, so maybe there's going to be a shotgun inside. That would be really good. I never feel like I have enough bullets. And I feel like I don't know how many bullets I would need to feel like I have enough bullets. Because sometimes when I look in my inventory, I'm like, oh, okay, I got like 40 bullets. That's a lot. But then after one encounter, over half of them will be gone already. And then that makes me realize that no, that wasn't enough. Okay, can you combine it? Left arm with book. And what's this gonna do? Open some kind of a mechanism? The book fits in it like a glove. Oh, that kind of looks like a heart. Maybe... Scepter. Okay. I always feel like right after we make progress, that's usually when they scare me, right? So sometimes I get a little bit antsy right after I do something. But so far, I'm not sure what this would be good for. Oh. Oh. Pricey looking gemstone. Kind of reminds me of the heart key. I threw away the scepter. Pretty. Pretty useless. <laughs> For now. <sighs> okay. <sighs> well, we got a jewel out of that. I guess the next thing would be to go to get the the valve. 
Yeah, in the shower room. And that would unlock a whole different area, which ultimately leads me back to the library, I think. Put it in here. Valve. And we're also on the lookout for a battery. Mm hmm. The boards? Um. I don't know. I guess I'll keep it on me for now. Gunpowder? I guess I'll keep that too. Weapons locker. Next stop. He is not looking too good. Hello? How are you? Are you David? No, honestly, sometimes they don't seem to care about me too much. And I'm all for it. Ooh. Okay. Oh, it's just bullets. Oh, no! I was wrong! Yes! W870! That sounds good. <laughs> Yes, now we can take out all the shotgun bullets we have in our inventory. Also not good though, because that means another slot. Gone. Look, I'm already full. A 4 round capacity 12 gauge pump action shotgun. It's sturdy steel action mixed this popular module, model. Reliable and easy to control. So I can reload it right now. Oh, maybe I gotta um, equip it. Probably a waste on regular zombies, I guess. I'm sure they'll throw something later at me, so not too worried about that. Okay. When I look on the map, one thing I wonder a little bit about is this area here. When I look here, there's no other spot. But then... Hmm... Should I look at it from the outside? Uh. That guy didn't even follow me. Uh. Is that just how it is? Hmm. I mean, there's one here too. Just like a random portion sticking out. Oh, yes. Locker room cap. Yes, cap is the the password for that, that lock in the locker room, right? Oh, you're here. Um... No, I guess that's just some random black space that for some reason is not on the map. Okay, well, fine. So one thing that I'm still wondering about in terms of dealing with the zombies is... If somebody hasn't noticed me yet, is it better for me to run past them, causing a ruckus, or should I sneak past them by walking normally? Is walking normally is kind of like, hey, nothing's wrong, I'm just, you know, sorry, just scooch over, please, I just want to get by. But running past them is like, oh my god, everything's on fire, get out of the way! Which I feel like could attract more people. But then earlier, I tried running past that one zombie in the long hallway, and it got me. So maybe that's not the best way either. Okay. Shotgun shells, I got six. Yeah, if I reload, it'll all go in. So it's not gonna be one extra slot. But I am running out of slots really quickly. Should I put in my- Oh, I got gunpowder. And I got the high-grade yellow one too. Mm. I'll put it in for now. Yeah, I'll think about what to do about it later on. I don't know which one would be better because we haven't tried using the shotgun yet. The flash grenade? Guess we should be keeping that on me normally. 
Oh! I thought we could reload more, but that's it. Four shots per... thing. Per round? Whatever you call it. Hello? Yeah, this guy noticed me really quickly because I shine a light on him because I'm walking really near. Oh my... Buddy, whoa, that's... I don't know, oh my gosh. What did I say? It did wake up! That was that guy, right? God damn it. You didn't get me, though. Nice try, buddy. Wait. Did that take him a new slot, or... Hold on. Oh, hello, you're here. Whoa! Whoa! Where'd you all come from? Oh, that's not good. Hold on. Got a little bit too close, and now you have my knife. She- oh my- Oh! I wanted to run past you. Oh, I used a flash grenade on it. Shoot, what a waste. Flash grenade plus a bit of a knife too. Hmm. My plan was to get here so I wouldn't be trapped on all sides, but now this guy... Please, man. How'd you all get in here, anyway? Where'd you all come from? God damn it. You see, this is what I mean about running out of- Whoa! This is what I mean about running out of ammo quickly. Just never feels very safe. Okay. Hold on. What's this? Cap? This is the locker room, right? This is a shower room. Is there a room called the locker room? I don't think so. I can try it. Okay. <laughs> I'm ready. Shotgun shells. Good. Okay. Just have a peek in what's inside. Seems like a pretty normal room, I think. If it's been like this, that means zombies inside haven't been able to get out, and zombies outside haven't been able to get in. Is that a good thing? Is that a bad thing? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I'm overthinking it a bit too much, but I feel like needing a valve here is kind of like a um, difference between modern versus classic design too. I'll talk about this later on. Hello. Hello, sorry, just scoot it. Yeah. Uh... I feel like I've only got one way to go. If I go back now. <laughs> but I don't like this either. It's a long hallway. Another roll of film? No, gunpowder. Did they come? I wanted to finish talking about what I was gonna say, though. Yeah, I felt like that part was kind of like a difference between classic versus modern design, because the whole time, I thought I was looking for a wrench. Because I thought that system was complete, and I'm looking for an external answer to it. But what I actually needed was a valve handle, which is a part of the system that's missing. So I feel like it's a very subtle difference between an external solution versus a internal thing that's missing from the system. Because I feel like a more modern or even handholdy way of doing it would be to have a message saying something seems missing from this thing. And if I saw that, I probably wouldn't have thought wrench. Okay, there's a lot of dead people here. Oh my god, the window's open! Are you dead? Oh, not a- no, no, no. Can I tell if they're dead by doing this? Ooh, that's... Wait. 
Why are you giving me so many shotgun shells here? I don't like that. <sighs> we have a star's office and linen room. Armory can be accessed via the star's office. And then this is locked. Yes, we've been there last time. I'm gonna jump out of the window. What in God's name? Is that the thing they were warning me about last time? It's not attacking me. Because it doesn't know I'm here. There's water here though, so I feel like it's gonna hear me walk by. Let's give it a go. What is it? Stop making the sounds, please. It ate the zombie. They eat each other. <sighs> I'm really surprised I didn't scream there. <laughs> um, is that a liquor? Some guy's scribblings. No, no, no. To any survivors. Creepy fucks that look like they were skinned alive. Lickers, we call them. They're blind as bats, but they're hearing more than makes up for that. So as long as you don't run around like a total idiot, guns are blazing. You should be able to slip right by them. Probably. Okay. Well, I walked near it, but I didn't walk past it yet, so I wouldn't be so sure that we escaped just yet. Internal memo. September 22nd, 1998. Office Supply Internal Relocation Notice Heat Resistant 3 Number Combination Safe In the West Office The combination is Left 9, Right 15, Left 7 West Office? That's the one in the Welcome Party Room, right? Got you Battery, perfect. Okay, now I'm really running out of room. We have to be a little bit careful. STARS, Special Tactics and Rescue Service. Do I still have to be careful about walking quietly, even though I'm not in the same room? <laughs> Thanks, Center. Like, Think Center? I need a dongle key. I don't think USB slots were a thing in 1998. <laughs> okay. Gotta forget about this for now, then. Oh, thank you. Sub weapons seem to be things that you use when zombies latch onto you to get away without losing health. That situation just now where we use it as a counterattack thing probably wasn't the best way, but at the minimum, we didn't get hurt. So that's one good thing. <clears throat> Everyone just up and left. First aid spray, I don't have room for you. Very sadly. But I'll remember you. Because a map will remember it for me. High-grade gunpowder. Also something I can't pick up. 
Um, yeah. If I could combine the gunpowder with the the one I have right now, that would be good, but I can't do that. Darts! <sighs> also can't pick this up. Um, what can I make room for? Definitely I don't want to take away my weapons, right? So this slot, this slot, this slot, and this slot. The board? Probably I can do something about. It's okay, we'll come back here later on. The problem is... Our guest outside. Where'd they go? Are you getting ready to scare me again? Hold on. Linen room? If something bad happens, we have a shotgun. Is that a hole? This is a problem. This is a problem. I know what you mean now by skinned alive. It hurt me. Did it hear me again? Oosh! Oh, whoa! Shh. Okay. All right. Welp. That time, I think I just got too close to it. That's the uh, main problem here. But you know what? This is not a bad thing, but let's kill it first. What the fuck? Oh! Oh, Jesus! How many shots was that? Five? Hmm. Okay, that wasn't a bad thing, because I feel like for this type of monster, where you usually want to avoid it. At some point, it's better that we attack it, because we have to understand how dangerous it is exactly. And now that I know it takes five shotgun shells, that's pretty costly, but I'm not gonna lose my mind over it. Hold on. I think I want to pick this up. And then combine this. There you go. Ooh, first aid spray? Please and thank you. Do I want to pick up the red herb right now? Mmm, I mean, I guess so. But what's in there? Lightning Hawk. The red herb, we can't eat it by itself, right? So I think I'm just gonna leave it here, actually, and we'll deal with it some other time. 
Is that where it came out of? It definitely didn't seem responsive to light though, so that's good. And um, yeah, like I said, that wasn't a bad thing. Understanding it. Diamond door? Okay. Are those guys still here? <laughs> yeah, they are. Okay, if we're gonna be exiting here, let's go and get the last herb then, because we don't need to be here anymore. What we came for was the battery. Whew, okay, okay, we're doing okay. She said this was such a narrow space, my god. The only way we can get past it, if it's this narrow, is if it's on the wall or if it's on the ceiling, right? Because obviously, I couldn't walk past it. In that time, I should have backed away even more. Hmm. That attack it had was pretty dangerous, right? Went from caution to danger in one hit. And now I'm caution again, because I got hit twice. It does a thing where it's on the ceiling and then it slashes down at you. Hey guys. You look like you have a different face. I feel like you looked differently last time. Are you alive? Shh. Libraries are meant to be quiet. Okay. Yeah, I guess we shouldn't be shy about putting stuff in the safe room because... I mean, in the safe. Because we're always pretty close to one. But... Maybe if we see those liquor things, it's better to have multiple healing items. For now, I think I'm gonna put this away. Because I don't know where to put it. We have a red herb. Want to combine it with a green herb again? Yeah, and then after that, we got the battery and the detonator. Oh, no room. So combine this. And detonator. Mm. Yeah. Awesome. The other thing about killing that liquor is that now we no longer have to be scared about going in the hallway. Isn't that good? <laughs> okay. Do I have enough space? Can I go back now? Just seems like I have so much going on here. But once I put down the detonator, I'll have a little bit more room. Okay. Before we go back, the safe in the office. Ugh. Kind of depends on where that guy's standing. Yeah, okay. This time he noticed me. If I go in the office right now, he's gonna trap me in there. Is there anything I can do about this? Here. Okay. What was it? Left 9, right 15, left 7. 9, 15, 7. Left 9, right 15, left 7. Oh! Thank the Lord! Right when I needed it. Okay, let's go. Okay. We gotta get back to the third floor. <sighs> Did I kill everybody last time already? I don't think so. You're pretending, aren't you? Oh, but she might be trapped inside the locker room, so let's not go- Ooh. I don't know if you're dead. <laughs> let's go. Uh. 
This one, we don't know. Are they all like words? Do they all have to be words? I mean, I guess not. Nobody ever said that. Ban. No, okay. <laughs> Can we knock this thing down? I don't want to see that thing again. <clears throat> yeah, last time we saw the liquor here. <clears throat> I know we've been here already, and I shouldn't be so cautious, but I still feel like... What if something's changed? Uh. Like this guy. <laughs> Just in case. <clears throat> Although I really shouldn't be doing that because every swing takes away the durability of a knife, right? <sighs> okay, once this opens, is there any possibility that these guys will wake up? Probably pretty likely, right? Feel like I should prepare for that a little bit. But you know what? Let's go. Do I need to walk away? Yes. Oh my lord. Oh, they made a noise, but no one woke up. <sighs> really? Okay. Go. Um. Someone coming? <laughs> I don't like this. Let's get this and get out of here. Person. Bow and arrow and the snake. Oh god! <laughs> I can't read it! I can't see it! Is that a person? Uh, bow and arrow, this one, and a snake. A snake. Ah, which one's a snake? I can't tell. This one. Oh! Maiden medallion. Okay. Let's run. Oh, I didn't see it. It was so dark. Oh god. Uh Yeah, eat the herb. Should I keep running though or what should I do now? <laughs> the library. The library. Oh, fuck the library. The fucking library. The goddamn library. Oh god. You're not dead. Look at my knife, it's gone again. And this guy. Jeez. That didn't have to turn out like that. No. Because I ran. It's not the normal zombie, and I was like, oh, let's get out of here. Uh, Dang. If I had successfully made it into this room, I wonder if that liquor would have followed. Oh well. Well, we got the third medallion. Even though I'm not doing so good. Every time I get into an encounter with the liquor, I'm getting down to dangerous health. Red health? Not good. And you know, maybe just once, I want to be able to get away from it without it nearly killing me. That would be nice too. 